Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome to a different type of unboxing this time. Uh, this time I'm checking out the Awu uh, Nut <laughs> speaker, as, as odd as it sounds. Uh, this speaker is about um, $20 I think. Also I have found a s weird solution to my focusing issues. I'm just going to do the focusing manually so if I forget sometimes I do apologize uh, there's not much on the box I think the box itself looks really cool um, it looks really cool outside of the like obviously having the strip here that just tells you what the what it is you know uh, it says like mini Bluetooth nut speaker it says the full charge of battery should last you about 10 hours um, I have no idea how true that is, but it's probably it's probably correct for something that's small. But the box itself is really nice. I just I don't like this bar here, but you know it's all good. It's um it's also it's eighteen ninety nine I believe, so it's not it's not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. But I think when you're buying um at this like the size, I think is the premium here. Uh, it opens pretty elegantly. I also I haven't you know used this or anything. We're just gonna open it here. This is my what the package includes in it. So it says it comes with the actual thing, um, charging cable. Okay, and it's in a lot of different languages. It comes in a nice little plastic casing, and then. We have our little charging cable. I do. I like I said. I do really like the box. Um, I may. I might use it for storing smaller things. So I'll, I'll keep the box there for now. And let's get on to the our real person. Person. Our real item here being the Awu speaker. It's just a really small. Bluetooth speaker. There is no port for uh, the 3.5 millimeter jack, or you know, like a TF card or anything like that. This is purely, purely Bluetooth. And then of course you have your micro USB to USB charging cable. As is, you know, I guess custom nowadays. So let's go ahead and just do I have to hold it to power it on? nice sound doesn't seem like there's a volume meter on this like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to raise and lower the volume with my phone here so let's go ahead and see how easy it is to set up with Bluetooth let's see how long this takes okay we're gonna, I'm gonna open the Bluetooth thing on my phone it's the 80A020 I click pair, paired fairly quickly it seems to be uh, like at least decently loud here um, as I'm just gonna search up you know some uh, nice copyright free music probably should lower the volume Ooh. okay so that's like at about half volume show here yeah it's a it's about half doesn't sound uh, awful. I guess I could get it closer to like the microphone over here. It's not bad. Uh, how loud does it actually get at max? Well, it's not bad. Like that's a it's a fairly decent uh, speaker. Like obviously at the the lower ends, it's not fantastic by any means but it does it does get fairly loud like I think this is a comfortable you know listening you just have it off to the side or whatever while you're doing work that's not bad um, it does get it's it gets significantly louder than I would have thought and that's you know the nice little LED on it there it just says a root and you know it has all your stuff on it do not throw it away because has a battery in it and it comes with a little, that nice little lanyard, you know, hang it on like your backpack or whatever you want. 
and carry it around. Do I? I don't know if I would necessarily pay twenty dollars for this. I did. I guess also I should mention that I did. Um, I got this for a, a bit less. I think I paid fifteen, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I am slightly mistaken. I paid ten dollars for it. So at, at ten dollars, I think it's good. At even at twenty, I mean, it's like I said, the premium is more of the uh, like the size and the aesthetic of it. You know, like I said, if you just want to carry it around, like on your backpack, your purse, or whatever, it is it is pretty good. It does, like I said, it gets fairly loud. Um, Sound quality wise, I'm not, you know, like an audiophile or anything like that, so I think it's, I think it sounds decent enough, obviously, um, it sounds clear, I don't, I don't like that this, the actual grill is on the bottom here, I feel like it would have been a lot better on the top, because then you could just, you know, you could put it down without having to worry about, for example, that muffling out your entire sound. But hey, you know, it happens, right? You you get used to it, so... Uh, I guess it's gonna be my first kind of, you know, review like this. Uh, let me know what you all think about it. Um, I'll leave a link to, to purchase this in the description, obviously, through Amazon. And I guess let me know um, what you would like to see done differently in these, if anything at all. So that's just going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.